Okay, so she mentioned I played the victim in a lot of my work as an actor, and um, I don't know how many of you saw um, or remember the movie from the early 90s. It was an action mountain movie called Cliffhanger with Sylvester Stallone. Well, I was the girl who fell to her death at, at the beginning off of The Wire. Well, for, and, yeah. and for those of you who haven't seen the movie, um, my boyfriend and I are mountain climbers, and we are stranded at the top of this peak 4,000 feet up, and we need to get rescued by a helicopter who has to land on an adjacent peak, and we pull ourselves across on this wire to, to reach it. My harness breaks, Sloan tries to rescue me. Uh, I fall to my death. That's basically my part. Um, so, but it's a scene that people always seem to remember. People come up to me even now, all these years later, and um, um, I guess it's the human being's fear of falling, the intense vertical, uh, the, the intense uh, vertigo, that's what it's called, um, that all creatures have that don't have wings. Um, when I auditioned for the role in the casting office, I had to obviously just act uh, the part of being terrified since I was standing on a couch in Burbank. And I remember when I left the office, my legs literally just gave out. I was trembling and I nearly fell on the floor and I realized, wow, my body doesn't know that I'm just pretending. So it's responding in this really traumatized way. When I was offered the role, there was this one caveat that there was one stunt that they wanted me to do. Um, they'd have a stunt double for the whole rest. And uh, this involved actually being up on that 4,000 foot peak. And to get there, I would need to be dangled out of a helicopter by a rope and there'd be somebody there to grab me and hook me into the mountain so I wouldn't fall off. So I talked to the stunt coordinator and he talked me through it and I agreed and the part was mine. So we go off to the Dolomite Mountains in Italy, which is standing in for the Rocky Mountains of Colorado so that the producers, I later learned, could consider it a buyout and wouldn't have to pay residuals. <laughs> but hey, two weeks in Italy on a big Stallone movie sounded great to me. So I'm booked for one week with second unit up in the mountains in Cortina, working with Stallone's stunt double because Stallone, ironically, was afraid of heights and he never got off the ground. Uh, that was, and then it was followed by one week in the famed Cinecittà Studios in Rome, which was built by Mussolini, where all of the, like Ben-Hur, all these really famous Bellini movies were made, a really iconic place. Um, and I ended up being on the shoot, instead of two weeks, I was there for three months because of a lot of problems with weather and certain things, but it was not a bad place to be stuck. Base camp for the shoot was only accessible by helicopter, and whenever the weather looked iffy, we would have to rush around to evacuate the set and get onto the helicopters. Uh, they eventually made up these cliffhanger second unit t-shirts that said, second unit, we don't wrap, we evac. <laughs> and because I spent so much time up there with the stunt guys who were the best climbers in the world, I eventually got acclimated to the heights, which were absolutely just dizzyingly terrifying at first. There was this rope bridge that was hung between, to traverse between the two peaks, you know, just swaying 4,000 feet above the crevasse. I hated that bridge. I didn't cross that bridge unless, you know, something really exciting was happening, like they were serving hot chocolate at craft service. <laughs> the high wire line that was rigged up for my, for my rescue scene was also used for the cameraman to shoot other sequences. I eventually got talked into going out there. First in, my, in the camera cage, which they shot from, and then in my climbing harness, just like my character does, only this time everyone assured me it was up without the falling to my death part. <laughs> now, I cannot begin to express the level of terror with that exposure. It's something that most human beings will never be called upon to face. The wire between the two peaks, the little harness, the 4,000 foot drop, you know, one has to be brave. Eventually, though, though like most things, I got used to it. We'd zip out there to watch them fill the bad guys being blown off the mountain. By the time they came to shooting my scene weeks and weeks later, it was obvious to everyone that I wouldn't be needing a stunt double to do the shot. Uh, in fact, I had to try to call upon the initial terror that I felt um, when I was first up there in order to be convincing. On the first take, my harness breaks on cue, and I have, an, I have another harness rigged under my costume. That's the one that's actually holding me. And I start yelling for help and crying as I was falling, that I was falling. That's, you know, just exactly as it was written in the script. And the director yells, cut, get her out of there. And the squad team of stunt guys come racing out on the wire and they grab me to my, drag me to my safety and throw me at a heap at the director's feet. And I'm like, why did you cut? And he said, oh my God, I thought you were really in trouble out there. <laughs> I was like, guys, that was acting. <laughs> 
Okay, I think we need to have a code. If I'm really in trouble, the code will be, okay, this is fucking real. <laughs> Everybody good with that? Eventually, the exciting day came when I was moved down to Rome to shoot with Sylvester Stallone in the first unit. And everyone had watched my footage. They were amazed that I had done all these stunts. And, um, and when I walked onto the soundstage, they, the crew just uh, started to applaud. It was so gratifying to be recognized like that because I'm, I'm really here to tell you what I did wasn't easy. So I'm introduced to Stallone. And like most movie stars, he's a lot shorter than you think he would be. And the script supervisor comes over before we start shooting and tells me that because no one on this crew was up there on the mountain with me, if um, something didn't appear to be matching what we did up there, I had to let her know just for continuity's sake. So the director, um, first unit director, sets up the sh shot and he says, uh, Sly, you say this line, hook her in, cross in front of the wire and send her off. So I pipe up, uh, excuse me, but um, if it's gonna match, he hooked me in and then crossed behind the wire and then sent me off if that matters. And Stallone turns around and he looks at me with what can only be described as disgust and says, why don't you shut the fuck up? What, did you write this fucking script? These are his first words ever to me after hello. And it's clear that he's not joking. I'm, I'm so horrified that I, literally, I can't even speak. So I look at the script, script supervisor who had told me to let her know about continuity, but she just kind of looks down at her script and makes some notes. And I turn to the director for help, nothing. I was later told that the theory was that Stallone hated me because I was a constant reminder that he didn't have the balls that I had to do the stunt. <laughs> and this incensed him. Every chance he had, he would put me down in front of the crew, refuse to rehearse with me, blame me when he messed up shots, and nobody was brave enough to stick up for me. When you watch the movie, whenever you see my face on the wire in that sequence, it was on the actual location, 4,000 feet off the ground, and when you see Stallone's face, it's in the, done in the studio. When my hand first slips from his grasp, that, um, that, was, done, that was done by me. I did, did a 30-foot fall on the stage into this giant airbag. And I practiced how to land and everything with the stunt guys, but it didn't prepare me for going up three stories and hearing them call, action! And I'm staring down at this impossibly far little airbag down there, and they say, action! Michelle, go! And I'm like, go? Go? Anyway, I ended up doing that fall five or six times. It was actually kind of fun after the first time, and uh, so much so that I had to remember to kind of act scared again. So because of Stallone and his intense hostility, it went from being the best shoot of my life to the worst. And, and though I was brave enough to face the mountain, I turns out I wasn't brave enough to face this movie star. And as much as I wanted to, as well as everybody on the set, I imagine, I never said a word in my own defense. The definition of bravery is courageous behavior or character. Now, I certainly had one of those down, at least, but Stallone, yeah, he was over two. When the movie was released, Stallone went on all the talk shows bragging about how he did all of his own stunts. On The Tonight Show, he actually said that when he arrived on the soundstage after doing all of his own stunt work on the mountain, the entire crew gave him a standing ovation for being so brave. Aww. Yeah, that happened, but not to him. When I first saw the film, after finally getting over the fact of my enormous double chin, three months of eating in Italy will do that to you, I was amazed at how realistically they were able to make it look like Stallone was right there on the mountain with me. So I suppose after time, maybe he actually did believe that he was. You know, I'm not proud of the fact that I didn't speak up to him back then, and if it were today, I know that I most certainly would defend myself. That's one of the perks of middle age. But we only really can take solace in this life from the challenges we faced and how, how we behaved and if we were brave. Thank you.